over six decades, Bank of Industry has been here. Driving Nigeria's industrial development through financial and business support services to micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises, and large enterprises across Nigeria. Leveraging on strategic partnerships, we provide equipment financing, working capital, and support to enterprises in key sectors of Nigeria's economy, including youth and women-led enterprises. Whatever your business needs, starting up, expansion, diversification, modernization, or rehabilitation, we'll be here always to support you. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. According to Development Export, the rapid economic transformation of many countries, especially those in the emerging markets league, have been considerably driven by the strong and well-managed development finance institutions. This is quite consistent with the Bank of Industry's mission of transforming Nigeria's industrial sector, which explains why Bank of Industry has continued to support potentially viable industrial projects that have promising developmental impacts especially job creation and import substitution. On tonight's edition of BOI Impact, we shall be spotlighting one of the bank's beneficiaries who falls under this category, Trust New Fluid Resources Limited, the company located in New Marco City along Lagos Ibadan Expressway in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, is working tirelessly to meet the country's lubricants demand. What stands this VOR assistant company out is the capacity to produce top quality lubricants that meet both local and international standards. The company has a blending plant with a storage capacity of 3 million liters and a daily production capacity of 150,000 liters. Although lubricants are used in other industries like manufacturing, construction, and agriculture, but the Nigerian transportation industry consumes 50%, thereby creating a huge market for it. Supporting industries like Trustlob can assist the country in job and wealth creation. I am Hadiza Oyomi. Don't go away. Traslu Fluid Resources Limited is an indigenous company that engages in the production and distribution of Traslu brand of lubricants with excellent customer support services. Traslu was established by skilled professionals with a vision to be Nigeria's reference petroleum marketing company that will become a leader in the oil and gas sector of the country's economy and also recognized as one of the best in the full stream petroleum industry. At an interview with the managing director of the company, Gafar Babatunde, he spoke about the gap Trust Loop is feeling in the petroleum industry. Trust Loop Flu Resources came into an assistant in a, as a modest uh, company startup in Poracot. It's a uh, six numbers uh, of directors with different uh, experience in oil and gas company came together, and that's uh, what brought about Trust Loop. In, uh, we registered the company last quarter of 2016 and we commenced separation 2017. But we know the short span of our operation we have made a remarkable mark in the uh, lubricant sector. And uh, part of the credit we can get to ourselves is this uh, ultra modern uh, facility, that is blending plant that was commissioned in uh, October last year. And one of the uh, guys we call it is that uh, the multinational they are focusing more on the industrial part of the business. So why the, the few indigenous companies then were equally focusing on the retail part. But with our experience in the industry, we see that uh, we can actually combine the two so that we can make impact not only in the industrial sales, but in the, in the retail sales with the local content. Because uh, you know Nigeria is one of the uh, producer of uh, of oil, one of the leading producer of oil 
with the new uh, signing of a uh, petroleum uh, industry at uh, 2021. We are seeing the opportunity that uh, new refinery will come in from the private sector. Period to 1995, we have only the, uh, the major, but now with the incoming of the indigenous and with the support we are getting from the government agency, particularly the BOI, that is Bank of Industry and the Ministry of uh, Industry and uh, Investment, I can tell you that uh, the opportunity at which and, uh, the industry sector will be greatly enhanced in the few years to come. Industrial Sales Manager, Truslo Fluid Resources Limited, Victoria Obi, spoke about the distribution network of the company's product. Trust Lube Fluid Resources um, is into production of engine oil, both the petrol and then diesel oil. We also blend and gear oil, transformer oil, transmission oil, hydraulic oil. We have um, ranges of um, the uh, uh, soluble oils also and all other industrial grades presently. Then we cater for the entire industrial business, the reseller business, the generally oil for machineries and even the service stations too. We also do manufacturing for them and the OEMs too. Trust Loop is growing rapidly, I can say that for, for a fact. Um, presently we, we cover the entire North Central, we cover the entire Southwest, which we have our strongest base in, both for the industrial and the retail market. We are present also in the South-South region, Southeast region, and uh, we are currently building a strong force to take over the Northwest um, region also. So presently, I can say that Nigeria is growing rapidly to becoming self-sufficient. And um, looking at what the federal government is doing presently by um, uh, repairing our four refineries and with the new private refinery that we have in Nigeria, um, the cost of base oil and additives, which are raw materials for blending the lubricants, will be reduced drastically because when base oil and the additives are present within the, the country and it's accessible by the entrepreneurs and the businesses that need them for blending lubricant. It will be easy for the companies to play within that space. Production supervisor Olumide Oshuma Kinde disclosed that the company maintains a quality management system. We are sure that there's excellence in our sourcing out of raw materials for our packaging and our blending department. Apart from that, also, we ensure that we have what we call a quick and prompt delivery of our product uh, to our trust loop and prospective customers. And also, we'll give a quality uh, after-sale support to our customers. We also make sure that all our products are conform to some specifications. In terms of uh, ISO specifications, uh, we have uh, API and uh, SAE grades. We also have OEMS specifications. So with all these, we make sure that all our products conform to the specification of these regulatory and international bodies. With the support of the Bank of Industry, TrustLube increased the number of its employees from 30 to over 200. Human Resource and Admin Manager spoke more on this. One of the major things we, we, we look out for is safety of the staff. We try everything possible within our ability to ensure that our environment does not pose any threats on the health and safety of our staff. Anytime you are at work, you don't worry about the fact that, okay, what am I going to eat, things like that. So we have uh, a, a, a good standard cafeteria that our employees can easily walk into during their break time and have their lunch. We equally have some uh, kind of uh, indoor games within the factory premises, part of which is uh, table tennis. So during the time that our employees are on break, so they can easily go to the table tennis, you know, just to have a kind of re relaxation before they go back to work, among others. Prior to the commissioning of this ultra-modern facility, our staff strength then was about around 31. But as of today, we are over 200. Finance Director at the company, Isiaka Kadiri Bolande, 
also spoke about the relationship and the impact on BOI support in the company's expansion. The relationship between Trust Do Fluid Versus Limited and that of uh, Back of Industry has actually been a very cordial one, a very mutual relationship. I uh, could recall at that time, you know, hitherto we were mainly into the marketing and sales of lubricant products. And uh, due to expansion, we saw the need that we need to stand and start making our own production of the products. And uh, we needed the funding for the equipment. We really don't need to know anybody in BOI to actually access funds there. Uh, it's a matter of you make your application and you meet their requirements, you can actually get the facility, which is what we did. With the support of back in, of industry, we were able to acquire the uh, storage tanks, we were able to acquire the kettles for the blending, for the actual blending of the products. We were able to acquire the filling lines that uh, are presently in use, and especially we were able to acquire our laboratory equipment, which is highly significant for any lubricant company that we have in place now. All these are courtesy of uh, the finance we got from uh, Bank of Industry. Presently, we are, the capacity of the plant is around 150,000 uh, liters per day, and we are getting, uh, presently we are getting around 30% of that, presently, and uh, we aspire to, to get additional funding to be able to push it up to around 50%. Debt Manager of the State Office, Bank of Industry, Babatunde Adela, also spoke on the relationship between BOI and Trust Loop Fluid Resources Limited. They have shared their concept with us and we supported them from inception up to where they are now. The bank supported Trust Loop Fluid Resources Limited with a facility of 950 million naira, technically 1 billion. So what this has done for them is that it's enabled the company to, to set up its entire plant from the storage tanks to the lab equipment to the generators to the blending plant so it's the bank supported them from we like i would say end to end so um what the company does is it's the company has captured a lot of the lubricant markets. So what this does is um, it affords motor vehicles, engineering companies to use their oil or lubricants that are, they are slightly cheaper than some of the foreign blends that we have, but they are equally as good as those um, foreign ones period to commissioning of our plant in October last year, our focus is basically marketing of a, of a lubricant product. But by next, last year when we commissioned this plant and with the support we got from BOI, we were able to migrate from a, merely marketing of a lubricant to production and a sales of lubricant. And BOI finance all our raw material to the tune of uh, 950 million, and that has helped us uh, greatly. And uh, it, it has uh, moved the company from SME to imagine a company now in time of uh, our capacity. Before commission of that plant, we are just in six states, all the southwest and in Loring. But as of now, in less than uh, in less than one year after commissioning this plant, we are in 24 states. So our target are in the short run, in the next, uh, by first quarter of uh, 2024, we should be in the 36 states of the Federation. The core values of Trust Loop Fluid Resources Limited are trust, integrity, respect, and excellence. That is what we witnessed firsthand when we visited the factory, a company that is able to produce world-class products that can compete favorably with market leaders without compromising standards is indeed trustworthy. If you're looking for the right lubricants for your various engine types, look no further 
as the lubricant from Trust Loop Fluid Resources Limited will guarantee the longevity and efficiency of your engine. The plant manager, Amos Fadari, explained how Trust Loop produces the right quantity and quality lubricants at the right time. If you want to start a blend, production has to make a request to the laboratory man. After making that request, the laboratory man will give out the formulation. After giving out the formulation, it will go back to the production floor, and the production floor will raise what we call raw materials requests. So, raw materials request is divided into two. The first raw materials is for the base oil and the additive, which will be taken to the warehouse. The second, the second part of it is both the carton, the cakes, and the label. So, the quantity of base oil needed will be, uh, that is, it will be written on the raw materials uh, booklet. The base oil will go to the kettle, and the additive will go to the additive tank and it will push in. After that, the boiler will be on by the maintenance and in, a, in, a way that, in a such a way that they will give them, it will be given to them at the blending floor to eat the oil for about 45 minutes. After the matter mix, and uh, we have what you call stiara. So the stiara will, re, uh, will be, at least we agitate the oil for like 45 minutes. After, the, for, after 45 minutes, it will be uh, the, produ uh, the production guy will invite the laboratory man to come and take the sample from the uh, sampling point. After taking it from the sample point, it will be taken to the lab and test the major parameters. If, in case the product failed, it has to be corrected. Because in trust loop, we don't compromise with our qualities. Our qualities, quality is very, very important to us and is paramount to us. After the lab might have tested it, and if it's okay, the certificate of analysis will be raised and given it, given it to production. Without the certificate of analysis, the product will not be transferred. After receiving the, product, uh, the certificate of analysis, the, production, the product will be transferred from the kettle to finished product tank. After it has been moved to the, product tank, to the finished product tank, so the packaging materials that have been given from the warehouse will now be taken to the filling line. Before they fill, there is, there is a form that will be given to them again that it is meant for filling. Without that, they will not fill it out. After filling, it will be packaged. After package, so at the end of the, at the, end of the, the day, the product will now be transferred to the warehouse, the finished product. We have what we call transfer form. The transfer form will be raised by the production man and the production man will transfer, we give the transfer form to the warehouse. But the, the warehouse man has to can those products one by one. If there is need for loading, it will be loaded immediately. We have some products that we are producing. For this HD40, we have both one liter, four liters, and five liters. You use it for generator, you can use it for Okada, even you can use it for Marua. Trust 6000 is for vehicle. You can use it for any vehicle, your SUV, you can use it for SUV. So, it's meant for vehicle, you can use it for any type of vehicle. It's very, very, and it works very well. And we have another one, this is our gear oil. We call it automotive gear oil. And another one, we have our ATF. We call it automatic transmission fluid. The company has come back to the Bank of Industry and the company currently has an approval of 1.5 billion to enable it to um, procure raw materials, the base oil, because its cycle is a three-month cycle and it uses 2 million liters of base oil. The Bank of Industry has um, supported, um, you know, numerous companies, you know, and the bank still keeps supported a lot more are coming up and um, so trust loop fluid resources limited is um, a company that um, the bank would continue to 
to support. Beyond just the financial support, the bank also assists in letting this, um, their products known to give it export earning potentials. You know what this would also do generally for the economy. Kudos to the management of the bank in also and holding some of these um, companies. Our short time uh, projection for the company is we have uh, 150,000 liters uh, daily production capacity with over 2.5 million liters uh, storage capacity in our tap farm. But as of today, we are still operating uh, around 30% uh, of our installed capacity. So our immediate uh, challenge now that we are working on is now to increase our capacity utilization to at least 60%. And that has to do with uh, having uh, increased our working capital. And BOI uh, has actually given us offer for our working capital. We are about to access the fund maybe the next uh, one, two months. And we have secured around 5,000 uh, square meter land, some few meter to these premises. And by the first quarter of 2024, we are going to commence the uh, construction of that plant and we knew that the uh, uh, Bank of New Jersey is going to finance our, our machinery for that. At the Bank of Industry, we do not only finance your project, we also give our customers the required technical support and likewise render business advisory services to ensure that they succeed which of course would enable them conveniently repay their loans. As a development finance institution, we always work with our customers to enable them achieve their business vision and mission. I'm sure you've witnessed the kind of spirit of Nigerian entrepreneurs to produce world-class products, no matter the circumstances, on today's program. For further information on how you can access BOI's facilities, kindly log on to www.boi.ng or better still, you can call customer care on the numbers that will be displayed at the end of the program. Thank you for watching this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Adiza Oyomi. Do have yourself an enterprise week. Bye for now.